Hi everyone, this is Mr. Fitchase, and I'm just playing The Bind of Isaac Rebirth. I can't get enough of this game, I, I definitely have to say that, because um, I'm drawn to weird games, and uh, this one definitely hits a nail on the head when it comes to weird. But um, I've been playing it for quite a bit, my son has two. Of course, um, he's too young to understand uh, the dark hidden meanings in this game, which definitely see quite a bit tied to religion, and um, I'm the type of person that believes you know, to each their own. I know religion has some ways to change people, the way they feel and think and stuff like that, and apparently this game relates to that, but um, definitely in a very dark way. Gameplay is really great in this game. Especially since in this one, uh, we got the twin stick shooting. And this game has a ton of hidden stuff. Hidden rooms, items. Some items are good, some items are bad. Some of them are almost like they're cursed. And uh, breaking certain things can open up hidden areas and items. Some of the enemies are real easy, some of them are really difficult. And it's a... Uh, constantly changes every time you play, which is really cool. It's another reason why I like playing it. And there's a lot of stuff to open. A lot of hidden characters um, that are in the list. Well, I should say not hidden characters. Maybe there are hidden ones. But um, the way you get them is somewhat hidden or you may need to accomplish an achievement to get one. I know I recently got one by collecting 50 coins and uh, it's another incentive to keep playing. Each of the characters um, that you can uh, acquire do have special abilities but also weaknesses too. Some of the enemies in this game are just so freaking weird. Which is another reason why I like it. I like odd things. Things that make you scratch your head and try to figure out why they were made the way they were, or why they exist. For me, the same holds true with life. I, if I see something that's out of the ordinary, I find it absolutely interesting because it's not something that you see every day. Artwork in this game is great too. I've always liked the style. Like uh, Super Meat Boy. Super Meat Boy's artwork is uh, very similar to the same guy made this game. And the music's really good too. Although I like the original Bind of Isaac music. This music I had to get used to, but now I like it. Especially the heavy metal sounding music. This boss here isn't one of the more difficult ones. It's actually one of the easier ones. And if you're lucky enough, you'll end up getting a bunch of little characters to follow and help you throughout the game. The storyline is absolutely crazy in this game. Isaac's mother's basically uh, thinking she's hearing God's voice. And it's telling her to basically kill her son. And you somehow end up trapped in your basement coming across all these horrific things.
I think, uh, if I recall, uh, the last thing I end up doing this game, which was pretty cool, which I, rec I wish I recorded, was um, beating the seven deadly sins. I don't know if it's because I did it individually or if it was done in that one game, but I know that um, I fought different characters that represented seven deadly sins. And I'm not too sure if a lot of people are, already probably know this, but uh, the piles of poop and the little fires around the area can be destroyed, and a lot of times you might find coins and stuff in them. So it's definitely worth definitely worth checking those out. Because if you don't, you're going to miss a lot of stuff. Also, in, uh, in a lot of cases, these doors where you get hurt when you walk through, guaranteed you might sacrifice a heart, but you may get something very cool on the other side. Or something bad, like that bomb. And spiders. I actually lost on this one. Nothing good in this door. Although there's possibly a wall like break open in here. I don't have any bombs. I'm actually not doing the best right now because uh, usually by now I'd have a few bombs, maybe a couple keys. These characters are pretty cool because they drop a bomb. And if you can tuck them in a corner with a bunch of rocks, <coughs> you can actually um, have them break open some of the bases and stuff and get the items inside. The gold rooms are always the best because I don't recall ever finding anything negative in them. You always find something that in most cases help you out. Sometimes you have to figure out what they do. I know I could probably look online, but I really don't like doing that. I'm the type of person that likes to jump into a game and just try to figure it out myself. So any of the games you see me play is usually just me trying to figure it out. And yeah, I could look at a manual, I could look at cheat guides and stuff, but I don't want to. I've been like that through my whole gaming history. I don't like to look at cheats, because then you're not really playing the game, you're just doing what others are telling you. At least that's how I feel. I also feel that that's how you become a better gamer, because you're doing it yourself. Although I'm getting my butt kicked. This. Well, that might change soon, hopefully. Now, I never go straight to the bosses because there's so much stuff hidden in, hidden in this game, and. Um, I do try to hit every room possible. These doors up here, you usually can find um, a way to trigger them to open. You'll hear kind of a click noise, and it's usually that door that opens. In most cases, there's something really good in there. In these shops here, if you put a bomb next to the machine, you usually get a lot of coins. And then you use them to buy the items below. If you fill up that machine, if I'm not mistaken, it should give you a really good item as long as it doesn't jam. If it jams, you're bumming because then anytime that shows up, you won't be able to use it again. So now I can grab this item and that. And this guy here you can blow up. I don't usually find anything good from blowing these guys up. Although I might have this time. Oh cool, it lowered the price of the items. Well, that's pretty neat. And might as well fight the boss now. Oh jeez. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes when they stick 
like Larry after they'll give you one big Larry or they'll give you a bunch of little ones like this one which uh, sometimes can be tough. You can actually use the poop to make them turn around as long as you don't destroy the poop. Hey, I wish I could remember the developer's name of this game. So I'm just looking at the screen, I don't quite remember. I just know that uh, he's got quite that imagination. Very warped imagination. And uh, I actually find that to be pretty interesting. Artwork, though, is just really great. Wacky looking creatures. Apparently, Isaac's had a very bad life. Been made fun of, his mother doesn't like him. Oh. And in this case, over in the chest is. Not the best thing, but I'm sure they'll reward me for uh, beating these waves of creatures. Even the sounds of these creatures is crazy. Like this character is like a tortured character, just crying. I think this is the last of these creatures. Nope. Ah, right, there we go. I got a bomb. And spiders. I probably should be checking the walls for passages. Because if you blow open a lot of the walls, you'll find stuff. And there are a lot of rooms. I found um, one item that teleports you. I kept teleporting, and I found so many rooms that would have been uh, opened up by a bomb. When you teleport into that room, it automatically opens a hole in the wall, and you find out where you were. Ooh, this is good. I think I might have got this item before. Let's see. Oops. That I did not mean to do. I meant to do this. The only thing is I don't know how quickly it recharges. Probably better off with this. Temporary invincibility. I don't know how long it lasts. But I'll keep it. You know, it's always the littlest creatures out of the ones that are pain. Because they're kind of tough to hit. Maggots, I think, are the worst, though. I try to do is I do go back to these rooms where the hearts are in case I get hurt. Just gotta try to remember where they are. <laughs> These characters sound like they're coughing up a hairball.
And I'm sure some of my friends probably figured I've been on vacation for the past week. Which is why I've been playing so many games. I usually play late at night because some of the games I don't want my kids to see. This one is kind of a tough one. I, I let my my kids play this because a lot of the hidden messages in it kids don't even understand until they get older. These ones are usually tough. I, I do like to get the items in the gold chest. Once in a while, I think they throw something bad in them. Oh, this one was good, though. And now I'll just check the other areas I haven't opened up yet. Now you'd think you can't get across these, but there are some items that let you get across. There's um, one that looked like a Nintendo cartridge with Mario on it, and you could hop over gaps and get the items. And then a couple of the uh, characters that you open up allow you to fly over things, which is really great because there's so many things you can get. And um, definitely worth it uh, playing those characters. But uh, a lot of times the uh, downside to it is that they may not shoot far or they may not be as fast. Oh yeah, and they still mark down all the items that um, are for purchase because usually a key is something like five. But that item I got did bring down the prices, so that's really cool. I don't know what that's for. I'll take it. Every so often I feed this machine and eventually I think it's going to spit something out as long as it doesn't jam. Some of the items are really neat because uh, there's one item that if you get hit, it basically turns damage into uh, coins. This is really cool. I'm going to take my chance and see if... Uh, no, maybe not. I was going to see if I can find some, uh, some passages. I think I'm going to skip, go to the boss. I'm sure this area probably has quite a few passages. The names of that character is pretty funny. Mega Fatty. <laughs> Some of the characters are pretty gross. Most of the characters are pretty easy to figure out. They do hop, they do a couple of shots at you. The ones I call a bunch of little minions are the ones that are a real pain. Especially if they're constantly moving. The ones that sit in place are pretty easy in most cases. I got them. Probably should have checked around for hidden rooms, but I don't have too many bombs. There's another item that um, I 
think they're glasses that let you see every hidden area, which is pretty awesome. I don't know how rare some of the items are. I don't know if it's just completely at random. Or if the game sometimes throws you one after playing so long. But really though, I, I just can't stop playing this game. It's so darn cool. I sure hope that the uh, developer didn't have that bad of a childhood compared to this character. And, uh, this game, you can only shoot up, down, left, right. There are no diagonals. The closest thing to diagonal is if you move while you're shooting, you can kind of get to go diagonally like I just did there. Like, if you kind of walk and you move a little bit, it'll throw it off to the side. Some of the power-ups give you an advantage by making you shoot three ways or a blast. These poop guys I hate because they erratically just charge at you. Then you break them apart and they turn to little poops. Turds. Something. I'm sure there's a specific name for them. As you can see, I don't swear very much because I have uh, two young kids. My youngest is seven, my oldest is eleven. I do make sure of the games that they play are somewhat age appropriate. I mean, they are pretty good at understanding that games aren't real. Look at that. But I won't let them play anything like Call of Duty, stuff like that. I know some parents will. You know, maybe their kids don't mind. Or they don't mind their kids playing. But, uh... Oh, cool. But really, I do feel that, uh... Depending on the game, it might have an effect on a kid. And I did grow up in the 70s, and I've been playing video games since, so I've seen uh, games get progressively more violent. My friends and I love to play the violent games at nighttime, or if the kids aren't around the daytime. Oh, that's a weird, uh, weird power-up. I've also come to the point in my life where I, I find pretty much nothing shocking. And I don't get easily offended. Ah, crud. Oh, that's pretty cool. Anytime I get hit, it damages things on the screen. I've, I've got that before. Well, I, I think that's what I got. Uh, actually, this weapon's not that bad. It goes pretty far.
That's interesting, the chained up door. Not sure I've run across one of those yet. Oh, I am going to try to get into it. However that might be. has a lot of good stuff in it. Oh, that's what the ringworm does. It makes your uh, project projectile spin. Let's see what this does. That's kind of neat. I'll take the cat with me. The orange fires usually shoot back at you. Just waste my money there. Shucks. I'll just blow this guy up and then I'll leave. Ah, uh, not a thing. I'm not certain how quickly, um, the rechargeable items charge up. If you look in the upper left, you'll see that meter next to that cat's head. And once that's green, you can use it. So, I'm hoping it fills up. Oh, I have not seen this guy. I assume with the name Mega, it's probably pretty bad. Oh, jeez. Call upon my cat's flies. I try to save my bombs for other things, but I'll use it to kill this guy. Magic scab. Awesome. Apparently Isaac's mother doesn't love him. That's sad. Oh, this place is pretty dark. I have not been here before. Oh man, it's really dark. Jeez. And ah. the curving of my uh my projectiles is getting uh turned into rocks. Which is kind of annoying because I can't hit the bad guy straight on. Oh jeez.
Now in this case, I'm better off not having the ringworm. I can't hit things straight on. Heck. Oh, I hate these guys. Uh, these guys are a bit different than uh, the ones I've seen before. In other levels, they shoot... Oh, that one did exactly what I thought they would do. They shoot a massive blast out. because I can't really see. <laughs> oh, jeez. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah. That apparently was, uh, mom or mother. These guys have to hit in the back of the head, which sometimes is kind of tough to do, especially when you get this ringworm thing. That's not working quite well for me. See what I just... No, I killed everything. Now that was pretty cool. <laughs> Found out my glasses on, so I couldn't really read that. I have no clue what I just got. I guess this uh, ringworm has an advantage and a disadvantage. You can uh, clip things off on the side, so you don't have to be facing the direct, directly facing them. And uh, the bad side of it is, though, is if you want to shoot straight ahead, you will be hitting things, and that'll stop your bullets from hitting the bad guys or your projectiles. I guess I'm just gonna check to see, uh, what I'm missing around here. I haven't checked out yet. Pretty screwed up. Wow. I have no more keys. Shocks. Explosive diarrhea. I get it. Oh. That's awesome. I wonder if that means I'll find anything. Uh, 
I can crush skulls. Poop. Oh, this is very cool. Only problem is I'm not not quite sure if I'm gonna get any of the items hidden in them. Oh, my bullets have changed. I mean, my projectiles have changed. That's cool. Not sure I want to really change anything. Oh, man. I do get stuff if I break things. I didn't just get rid of uh, my stone crushing ability. And what did that give me? I cannot see a thing. just did. Apparently, I still got my crushing ability. Huh. I go back in there and see if I can actually beat this guy. Yeah. Wait a sec. Left hand. Hmm. So you come across points when you're not sure which item to keep. just may keep this. Oh, cool. I can fly. charge back up. I think they like to trick you when they put things on the walls like that just to make it look like something's going to be there. It's not always the case though. do put some dangerous things inside the rocks. Ooh, two chests. Now the trick is if you get hurt, you have a brief second to get out of that spot. So, for example, those spikes, if you run in there and you hit something, you have a, a second to get out, out of there before you get more damage. And you can use that to your advantage. 
guess I'll just fight the boss. Oh man, I haven't seen this either. No clue what to expect out of this thing. Apparently there's uh, that, two of them, and they're shooting something out that I can't see. I'm getting hit by probably spiders or something. Or bats. Ah, oh, I get invincibility. Nice. And that lasted just long enough. Now that's what's lined after me. Awesome. And you should try not to always be quick to jump out of a level after you beat a boss. Because sometimes a door opens up that'll let you get more more items. Sometimes it's a trap, but in most cases it's more items. Apparently Isaac was handed a wig. Why, I don't know. Whoa! What the heck? A bit confused as to why that happened. Apparently something I have when I get hit teleports me somewhere else. Probably use my wings to get over there, I bet. Ah, I can't use it yet. I guess it has to fill all the way up. I'll keep that in mind though. My guy is pretty powerful now. Well, usually at this point I have a bunch of little characters follow me. Although I do have a lot of these spiders which seem to be pretty helpful. Very helpful, actually. You know, if I could fly over there, smash all those skulls, I'd have a bunch of items. I'm not going to go in there just yet. So I'm guessing that if I get hit... ...sometimes... ...I get teleported. It's a really weird... ...power. And some of the trails that the characters leave behind, like these blood trails, those usually end up um, damaging you at times. Tempted to get all those bombs. Ah, jeez. Oh, 
always go to the gold rooms. Almost always get something good. And if you have a chance to destroy skulls, most cases you can find something good underneath them. A lot of times, uh, tarot cards. Probably just... Ah, oh, shucks, I didn't mean to do that. Darn it. Oh well. Oh! What the heck? <laughs> I got teleported to the arcade. What the heck? That is so messed up. And... I get here. Sorry, I have to keep switching so I can actually read it. I don't have my glasses on because it's been irritating. Sacrificing yourself for money. It's a little crazy, but a lot of times you can get some decent items. Although, not sure it's going to be worth it in this case. I'll have to find a way to get more hearts back. Sacrificing myself. Shocks. I figure I may as well try to, uh, look for some rooms. Yes! Oh, come on! Cool. Oh, not good. Who is that? Apparently pretty tough. He doesn't do a whole lot so far, though. He takes quite a beating. He's teleporting. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ah, oh, cool. Ah. 
That was an unexpected surprise. Luckily, I'm pretty strong. Oh, come on! What the heck? I am so confused right now. Oh, I want to beat that guy. Maybe... Down here... Ah, through this way. I'm gonna probably die. Lots of tarot cards. Oh. And that took a heart away. I know that teleports you to the beginning. That item might have shown me. Might show me the passages. Oh, my God. Man. What the heck? I'm going to get killed if I go through there. Darn it. Passages. I'll take my chance in the arcade again. Hopefully this little guy gives me something good. Huh. Compass. No clue what that does. At least in this game, I don't know what it does. I already tried up there earlier. I'll try right down here. Oh, I think I see a spot I haven't gone yet. Try right there. Darn it.
Uh, I was gonna check in there for uh, holes I can put in the wall. I probably should just go to the boss now. Really hate this room. Ah, man. Ah, jeez. Oh. Back. Apparently one of the items I have is, uh... One that brings me back to life. See what it gives me. Oh, are you kidding me? It's been jammed. Hey, the humble bundle. That's pretty cool. If some of you don't know, the Humble Bundle is actually a really neat website that has uh, bundles of games for very cheap and part of the money goes to charity. Definitely worth checking out if you're looking for some really great games at a great value. I'm talking anywhere from like a dollar up to whatever you want to pay. You can get a lot of neat games and uh, some of them are really popular games. And the fact that it goes to charity and the developers is really cool too. So definitely, uh, definitely check out the Humble Bundle if you get a chance. Oh no. Actually, I'm pretty powerful, so I think uh, this shouldn't be a problem at all. I get invincibility again. Now, uh, hopefully, whatever's in this door does not kick my butt. Oh, it's mom. I forgot. Yeah. Invincibility. Yes. See if I can use this to my advantage. That's pretty nasty. Shoving her fat rolls out the uh, holes in the wall. I'm gonna be very lucky if I beat this without dying. Oh man, did I do- Ah, oh, I got killed while I killed her! Ah, oh, crud. Man. 
That is a total bummer. Ah, oh, if I just moved out of the way, I would have beat the level. Shucks. Oh well. I'll be playing again soon. Well, take it easy and uh, thanks for watching.